phone to their death with them. Well, this is why I, I personally believe it was not as true as Howard wanted everyone to believe. Now, where the hoax was remains to be seen yet. Howard is as almost believable as, do you remember Mr. Downey? Yeah. <laughs> Martin Downey got beat up in a restroom. restroom in San Francisco, and we found out that wasn't true. Yeah, right. How it was orchestrated so quick, how much publicity he had to have the, the camera crew, and of course, by the time the show was over, every news van was there in New York City, and of course, uh, the police saved the guy's life on the George Washington Bridge. Actually, right? one of his callers did. Okay, one of his callers did. Whatever the case may be, okay? I don't know. I think it was very, very strange. And, uh, you know, I thought about this hard. The, the guy was arrested for p cocaine possession. It seems to me if somebody was going to orchestrate something that was going to definitely have a police involvement, you wouldn't have drugs in your pocket. It just doesn't sound right. I think you made a good point. You don't bring a cellular phone to a spot that you're really going to take your life. Unless you need uh, last-minute advice from Dr. Kevorkian. Okay, what else has happened this okay, week? Okay, I got something better to talk about, Ron. Okay. Jocelyn Elders was fired from her position, which is about time. When did this occur? Today. I wasn't even aware of it. Yes, sir. She's been canned, given the boot. You mean, to tell, you mean to tell me Uncle Bill had the guts to do it? I think he didn't have any choice because she opened her trap one too many times. Well, she had opened her mouth a few times, but what caused the, her demise? Okay, she was speaking in front of a group of dignitaries of some type and, <laughs> and recommended, number one, giving out condoms in school and, get this, teaching masturbation in school. No well, lie. wait a minute. Serious. Wait a minute, are you serious? Yes, sir. A serious is a heart attack. This was on the wire? Yes, sir. Okay. I, I think... He had to. Uh, did he really ask for her resignation immediately? Yeah, she was canned. Absolutely. Well, how did they say? Was it a graceful can or was, was she forced? Well, this is the way I heard it from three different news organizations. One, her okay. resignation was accepted. Two, her resignation was asked for. And three, on the six o'clock news, she was fired. So well, I, I believe she should have been fired if she said that, obviously. She should have been fired long ago. Why I mean, did she feel that they should teach that to lessen the... Sex endeavor or what? I suppose to keep them away from diseases and things like that. Uh, this girl, I swear to God, if it was someone, I can't believe she would say something like that. Yeah, she did. And also, she's been saying things. She wanted to relax laws on drugs. She wanted to make drugs legal. Oh, I remember when her son got busted. Yeah, and two days after she said that, he got locked up for that. However, well, she's been saying stuff like this during her whole uh, reign. There. Well, we want to thank you, Rich, for bringing it to our attention. That's uh, the headline story of the hour, I guess. It is, and I was so happy to see it. Ron, you know what I wanted to ask you? Because I can't bring it up. What did Jocelyn Elders do before she was elected Surgeon General? I know she worked for Bill Clinton in the state of uh, Arkansas, where he originated. As what? As uh, the same thing as the de, the uh, state's uh, highest attorney. Highest attorney. You know what I mean. You mean is attorney as general of the state the of Arkansas. General. How does that qualify her to hold a medical type of? Well, you know, Bill Clinton. I have nothing too much against Bill. I think he's done a wonderful job, and I'm the few people that think so. Yet, he did hire a lot of people from his uh, state uh, cabinet. You know, he was never even a school nurse. I mean, why would she be a, when you hear the term Surgeon General, you well, think this person has a medical background. She was the Attorney General of the state, I believe, there. And, yeah, uh, but the medical thing doesn't come into it. It doesn't fit. This woman. Well, I know she worked in the state of Arkansas. She, he brought her to Washington. You see what happened. She's muddied the waters in Washington. To make that statement, she should have been fired. I must say it's overdue. I, I, you know, I was on her side when everybody was getting on her case. But th this is ridiculous. She doesn't even see, she's not knowledgeable in any kind of medical field well, at all. Well, okay, let's go on. What else happened this week in review? Okay, Pearl Harbor Day. Th that's right. Pearl Harbor Day just passed, of course, and there's been a lot of uh, celebration, well, celebrations, remembrances, you know, of Pearl Harbor Day, and there's been a lot of uh, reenactments and, you know, stuff like that taking place. Um, the 911 case in Philadelphia, uh, just tonight, uh, matter of fact, just about two hours ago, uh, all of the uh, all seven kids, including the one that just provided the bats, were indicted. Good. On those charges. Good. But 
I'm really disappointed to see that they will not face a death penalty. Oh, of course not. They would never. Yeah. Because, most likely because, uh, it is much a prosecutor, uh, when he has a case in front of him and he sees that it would be difficult to get a jury to send kids to a death sentence will not push for it in because he may have a hard time getting a guilty verdict. Right. Just like O.J. Simpson. They didn't want to push for the death penalty because people would be reluctant to find him guilty. Right. But maybe they will find him guilty now that uh, uh, Nicole's sister has gotten on the bandwagon. Uh, I don't know. I hope so. Is it raining over there? It's drizzling outside. I there's water all over the sign. <laughs> there's a little look at it. No. Really? Yeah, I see the little dots on it. No, there's no water. It's just a good reflection. But it is raining in downtown yeah, it Atlantic like it's City. it's raining there. <laughs> it's raining in downtown. But let anyway. Me, let me in on the joke here, Joe. What is it? What is it? We're going to have credits at the end of our show. Oh, great. We're going to have credits at the end of the show. Make sure you put Rich in. <laughs> They're going to give credits where credits are due, Rich. Well, right? if anybody deserves credit, big guy, it's you because you're the South Jersey talk show king. Well, you know, I, I understand other stations are inaugurating uh, talk shows around my time slot tonight because they realize we have such a vast audience. Well, if they're smart, they won't do it at your time slot because they won't have an audience. That's right. 